يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وامنوا برسوله يؤتكم كفلين من رحمته هذا المسلم الذي قال من ابن عمر also انه مر بفتيان من قريش قد نسبوا طيرا وهم يرمونه that some boys of the Quraysh, young teenagers uh, of the Quraysh, had stood up a bird in a place and they were shooting it, shooting at it with arrows. Imagine its terror. And for the fee for it was that the person who owned the bird Every arrow that missed, they would give him that arrow. Arrows would take a great deal of labor. My father used to make his own arrows. He was an archer. And he used to make fletch and do everything, make his own arrows. And it takes quite a bit of labor to make an arrow from scratch. Ibn Omar, they espied Ibn Omar. They all scattered. <laughs> Probably familiar with his uh, resemblance to his father. Fakal ibn Omar, man hada. He said, "Who did this?" Lan Allahu man hada. He said, "May Allah curse the one who does this." In Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, laana man taqda shayin fihi ruh. Aradan. He said, Verily, the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who Ibn Omar was always keen to follow, imitate. One time Ibn Omar stopped, stopped in, the, in the middle of a journey and he rode over and went around a tree and came back, came back to the road. He said, I saw the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, do that. <laughs> So did everything. And so here he only said this curse because he heard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam curse them. Uh, he'd take something that had that, something alive as a target. Uh, so the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is teaching you through Ibn Omar radiallahu anhu that tormenting animals is a kabira. Uh, and uh, is a kabira uh, of the haram, and that is the reason the Prophet Sallallahu cursed the person who does it, because in indicating to us and teaching us that it's a kabira, not just an ordinary thing, but uh,